What's going on guys? I'm uh, talking today about how uh, someone tried to rob me at the mall today. Um, I'm still kind of shook about it, but uh, basically I'll just tell the story, you know. So um, I was at the mall today with my parents. It's pretty chill, you know. They're just like, they're going to a wedding, so they're looking at dresses and all that stuff for like, you know. Um, and I was like, you know, my mom was walking around in Macy's. She's like, why don't you go like walk around the mall? I was like, all right, cool. So uh, I was walking around, right, and I'm I'm chilling, right? I'm hitting all the big stores, you know, all the, all the ones that you typically stop at, right? And um, one thing, I'm walking by the food court, and this guy he hands me this piece of paper, you know, it's like this little strip, little white thing. And he's like, "Hey, I got a present for you." And I I just thought this guy was joking. This guy's like 15, or at least he looked 15, you know, and um. And I didn't know what it was, and he said something I couldn't understand, but he's like, smell it, you know? And I said, okay. And I smelt it, and it smelled like, it smelled weird, right? The guy's like, hey, why don't you come here? Come here. So he's like, come, brings me over to like this kiosk thing, and it's all cologne, which makes sense, you know? It's, um, he's like, hey man, what's your name? Goes for one of those handshakes like that, where you're like doing that sort of thing. So, you know, and, uh. He, he was cool. He's like, what's your name, man? How old are you? What do you do? And I was like, oh, yeah, I work at, you know, dot, 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 you know, and I talked to him. And um, and then he's like, oh, yeah, I'm 15. So that actually, my suspicion was correct that he was 15. And uh, he's like, listen, man, I got these deals for you, all right? Shows me all these colognes. He's all these different smells. He's going to spray them and show me. And he's like, season one, I think it was called Victory, one that I, like, I guess I liked the most, you know, because, I mean, I was kind of just killing time, right? Like, also, like, I didn't want to be rude and walk away, you know, and, um, I figured, you know, what's, why, why just, like, leave, you know, so this guy's like, all right, and, uh, he's like, all right, man, I got, I got this deal for you, okay, look at this, and he shows this price tag, it has two colognes on it, so it's, the total is, like, 150 bucks, he's like, normally, they're gonna be this much for two colognes, I can change that, he hits the X on one of the things, it's, like, 70 bucks, he's like, I'll give you both of these for 70 dollars, and being me, right, I don't know how much cologne costs. Like, I have no idea. I mean, as you can probably tell, I look like the guy who's always full of cologne. No, I'm um, just messing around. But um, this is this older guy, right, who's like his older brother, whatever, you know. And he's like, all right, man, listen here. And he gets real close. He, like, has his arm around me. He's like, okay, listen, man. That's my brother. He's uh, is he's 15 and this is his he, he really needs this sale man this is his first sale he only needs one more to to get promoted or something like that you know and i i was just like you know like listening because i i couldn't really leave and they were really really pushing on me he's like listen bro i will get you two of these bad boys for 25 dollars all right pa bag it up for him and i forgot the guy's name i don't think that i ever heard the kid's name he's like bag it up dot 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 you know the guy's like all right so he puts it in a little plastic bag, like a shopping bag, and gives it to me. And then he's like, all right, that'll be 25 bucks. And I was all like, uh, uh, you know, like, I, mm, chill, you know. I mean, I didn't say that, obviously, because I'm like a pushover, right? So I was like, uh, you know, I, I was like, oh, man, I don't have any, I don't have any cash on me, man. I don't have any cash, you know. And the guy, he, he's like, he pulls me and he's like, listen, man. I'm, we're going through this. We really, we really need this, you know, like just to like help us out, you know. Like I said, my 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 brother, or cousin, or whatever the, whatever he is, he really needs this, and and I I feel like a hand, it's on like my pocket. It's another hand because one of the hands was on me like that, and he was like being my bro. The other hand was down there, all right, and he's like feeling like I hurt his hand. It was like on my, like, as a visualization, there's my leg, you know, this being my pocket, and he's, like, his hand's, like, kind of going up there, you know, and, like, normally, like, I mean, I wouldn't want anyone to do that, it seems kind of weird, at best, kind of sexual, at worst, trying to rob me, but, you know, basically, he's trying to rob me, you know, he has hand, and he has, like, that, kind of that grip on me, and, it, like, everyone could see, no one was looking at us, because it's just, like, regular mall shenanigans, right, but I could have gotten robbed right there, and obviously, like, I don't know. It was terrifying. Got like the adrenaline rush in. I like I stepped back. I went like you know. I was like I'm, I I got you know. He's like oh come on man. Your your car. We can take your card if you don't have cash or whatever. And I went and you know at this point it's like, dude I'm way past the point of buying your stoop like your cologne man. Like I don't know. Like you just tried to pickpocket me or rob me right in front of everyone. You know. 
and and you real like bro, you know like you've lost the sale man i'll be honest dude you it's it's over so i like stepped away and i was like okay and i started walking i just walked away as fast as i could basically you know because the thing was you know and i i checked my pockets by the way i still had like my keys and you know like my my wallet and my phone and everything in there um and you and for one thing right it's like i'm lucky that i didn't have cash because i actually did i mean i had like a dollar in cash but you know i uh didn't couldn't really buy that maybe maybe if i hand him the dollar bill and said he might have sold me the clone for that yeah no but um I mean, I was just shook after, and I went and I talked to my parents. It's like, yo, guys, you know, <laughs> like some of this stuff went down, and like, you know, I, I didn't know whether to alert mall security. I, I didn't really like know what to do. I was kind of scared because it's like, if he actually grabbed something, if he grabbed money from me or whatever, or took my card, I mean, it would take a minute for like the the mall cop guy to like figure it out, you know, like to be able to be like, oh, this is this is definitely yours, Josh, you know, not not you, random cologne scammer dude you know um so yeah that's uh that's why i don't really go to the mall